You know, the number of people getting shot and killed in D.C. was front and center on Capitol Hill today. Yeah, it was round two of some pointed questions for D.C. from leaders and uh, members of Congress. The Republican led House Oversight Committee wants answers about the district's crime rate. Yeah, Adam Longo was at the hearing with Mayor Bowser and Chief Conti, but it was another witness who really got a lot of attention from Republicans, right, Adam? Yeah, Lorenzo, that's right. It was the U.S. attorney for D.C., Matthew Gray only after the threat of subpoena. It was only after a letter from the committee chair, Republican James Cover of Kentucky, to the attorney general that he secured a commitment for Graves' testimony. Now, Republican members today seized on a statistic recently published in the Washington Post that Graves' office had declined to prosecute 67% of cases, and he got hammered with questions to explain that. We're not satisfied with your job performance. Because you have people that are directly being impacted and hurt by these people and you're failing to do your job. I can report that our charging rates this year are already higher and trending upwards. U.S. Attorney Matthew Graves has been in that post since November of 2021. Of all the 94 U.S. Attorney offices across the country, his is the only one prosecuting both federal and local crimes, felonies and misdemeanors in D.C.'s Superior Court. Mr. Graves, your policies are directly endangering the public. The statistic you cite of 67% is a snapshot in time of what the office looked like when I came into the role. This was the second hearing involving D.C. leaders titled Overdue Oversight of the Capital City. D.C. Council members Phil Mendelson and Charles Allen took questions back in March along with the head of D.C.'s police union. Democratic members of the Oversight Committee today stressed that D.C. be allowed to handle its own affairs without congressional interference. I apologize, uh, Mayor Bowser, that you have to sit through one more attempt by my colleagues on the other side of the aisle to undermine the democratic rights of the District of Columbia and its citizens. To be asked questions um, that the members aren't asking in their own states. Uh, it's offensive to think that they would care or know more about crime in D.C. than we do. And Democrats on the committee also ferociously argued, pointing their fingers at the other side of the room at their Republican colleagues, saying that it was insincere to have a congressional hearing about D.C. crime and not discuss guns and gun violence. Maybe it was Republican Gary Palmer of Alabama who summed it up best, saying, quote, these hearings are partisan crap shows. Then again, he's also the same guy who called D.C. schools inmate factories at the last hearing, and no one seemed to like hearing that. Leslie. Yeah, a lot of people left out of there not feeling so good coming in or leaving out. Yep. Ads, thank you.